What do we got here? Oh, let's look at a freebie. I got a freebie for you guys. My good friends at DeSafa. These guys are some of my favorite PowerPoint video template or template developers in general. Their design is always really good. Let's put a link to this guy in there for you. Okay, so you can go check those out. Lots of good stuff in here. Take a look at all the previews and all the goodies that you get. Well, I got a goodie for you. I got a freebie for us. And if you click this link, this thing is just a really nice little template. It uses kind of a paintbrush sort of a theme. Kind of paints a nice little grungy kind of background. Very nice, very interesting design. And of course, it's pretty easy to modify and stuff, and that's basically what we're going to do right now. When you click that link, you're going to download a zip file, and you're going to extract these files. Here's the font included. We have a video preview, so you can see what the sample looks like. And then just go ahead and double click the PowerPoint file here to launch it and open it. The first time you do it will say enable editing around here somewhere. Let's click that and then of course my best practice is very first thing you do before you do anything else is go to file, save as, browse to a location on your hard drive and save this with a different name, maybe even put it into a directory, okay, and save it so you don't screw up your master, okay. When you're working with advanced templates like this, things can go horribly wrong in a hurry oh. and you want to be able to get back to ground zero easily just by opening up a fresh copy of your master template, right? Okay, so first and foremost, if we look at the slides here, it doesn't look all that interesting, right? So let's see what we're going to have to do as is often the case with advanced templates like this see how to modify it, I'm going to open up the selection pane. You can click on any object, go to format, and open up the selection pane. I right click when I find it and add it to my ribbon up here. So I always have access to my selection pane, which is a handy dandy thing. So the first thing we're going to do is, well, we got to kind of see what's what because we can't really see much of what's what because of the way this slide is designed. Okay, so let's hide all. And what we'll see with everything hidden is that it has a background color. Okay, so actually let's do this. Let's go to Format Background, right? If you want, you can change the background color. I'm not really going to mess around with that too much. Rather. Let's go look for something that we can modify. And certainly one thing that I would want to modify is probably the image that was on this slide. So uh, this is done a little bit differently than some of the other templates and stuff. Here you'll notice that I have a group. Okay, And if you don't know this, this is a group. <laughs> if I twirl this up, okay, this means this is, these items in fact, I'm going to hold my control key and zoom out a little bit. There we go. See, these are grouped together. So as I kind of click on each item in the group, well, we'll see that it selects it within the context of the group here. So to change this image, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to hide all so I can get down here. I'll turn the group back on, and you have to click here to select. See how I'm selected in the selection pane on the image, the photo. And then very carefully, rather, I'm going to hover over, see the corner arrow here of the image, the inside piece here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Format Picture. On the Fill tab, we'll see that it is a picture. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Insert a different picture. I can do this from file. Uh, let's see. Let's pick this guy. This happy little guy. Okay. And then go back to the selection pane here and let's show all. And then let's preview it using the star icon. So that's basically how you change the image. 
that process gets replicated on pretty much all the other slides. Okay, so same process. Hide all. Show the group. Click on the photo to select it. Right click carefully. Format picture. And notice I already have it open here. So insert from file a picture of Maggie. There we go. Go back to the selection pane, show all. All right, so that's all well and good. Uh, what else can we do with this? If we hide all again, the other thing besides the picture, let's turn that on now that we've changed it, that we'll want to modify, of course, is text. And one of the things I like about the, this, this set of templates is they give you a little bit of direction here. <laughs> Your text here, right? And if I scroll in now, I can see that there is some text there and I can turn this on I can see that there is some text there okay so I can certainly change this changing text is no big deal change text now one of the things if I want to move this text somewhere else see right here it kind of I don't know kind of covers up my little guy here it gets lost in the weight of the water here. I might want to move this somewhere else on the slide, right? Now, what you got to be careful of is let's turn a couple more things on here. Oh, if when I click this little dealy here, uh, you'll notice that that's the background for that text. So, I want to move it all. I'm going to click on each item in the selection pane and I'm going to hold my control key. I want to select this text text, text, and the box. Okay, and now you can try to grab this with your cursor, but usually I'll use my arrow keys and just kind of move it where I want it. Okay, maybe I want it right at the very top, right? So let's show all and see what happens. Okay, that does indeed change the text. And then let's try it one more time here. Hide all. Let's turn the text on. Let's turn this on, but also kind of with the text, what else do we have? Let's turn a couple more layers on. We got this thing going on. Oh, not that. Let's show well, I just want to see something. Okay, so we just got like two kind of a highlight box area. Uh, just be aware that we could move those also if we wanted to, if we hide all. And what were those pieces? That piece and that piece. So with everything else hidden, I can kind of easily select this. Maybe I'll turn my photo on and now I can kind of move things around also. Right? So that's the crux of modifying pretty much everything on this slide deck. Oh, wait a minute. There's one other kind of cool feature here that I like. Let's preview this. And I guess there's two things. There's two other things I want to touch on here. One is this animated GIF file. Let's hide all. Let's turn just this GIF file on. And what it is is kind of some 60s acid trip kind of GIF file. <laughs> and they use it as a background. Uh, let's click on it. Let's uh, let's go to format picture and we kind of see that we can do some things with the transparency if this is a little harsh for you or if you want to make it more subtle you can just kind of increase the transparency here or of course just uncheck it all together in the selection pane so realize you have that option let's go back to the selection pane I'm going to show all Let's kick this in the slideshow mode. And everything comes in. I like it. It's all looking good. And it goes away. So a nice little feature they have here is this object here called End. Let's click on that. And then let's go to the animation pane and see what this is. Basically, uh, it's just an element somewhere. I'm not even sure where it is, to tell you the truth. Uh, but I don't really care. What you'll see when I click on it here in the animation is that it has a delay of four and a half seconds. And when we went into slideshow mode, guess what happened? 
the everything builds and all the animations play and after four and a half seconds it covers up and gets ready to go to the next slide well if I want it to last longer let's set this to 10 seconds right now let's kick it in the slideshow mode it's gonna draw it's gonna do the animations everything's going and now oh, instead of disappearing which is what it would have done before it waits 10 seconds to do that right so when I get all that configured and combuberated <laughs> I can go to file export create video and here I want to set the second spent on each slide to zero especially if I've changed any of those timings on that end uh, end thingy and create video and that's going to kick out a full HD 1920 by 1080 MP4 video for me of my awesome slideshow. Okay, so like I say, DeSafa puts out really good design. I like them. Uh, there's always some good stuff to be had there, so check them all out. There's always some stuff that we can use and leverage in, in even Camtasia.